Hello and welcome back to Proactive New York. I'm Christine Corrado. With me right now is Nader Porhassan, CEO at Cytodyne. Nader, it is great to see you. How are you? Doing great. Thanks for having me. Nader, lots to talk about today. Let's first start with your filing to uplist to the NASDAQ stock exchange. Why now? Well, we think everything is coming together in a beautiful way for us. Um, we wanted to have the stock to go to a different level with all this stuff that we have. I mean, it's rightfully so. How many, how many companies have 20 different indications for a product? So uh, when we pa got past all those development, all those difficult years, and our shareholders were desperately waiting and nothing was happening, things are happening in a spectacular way now. And, uh, you know, to put the finishing touches is uh, up list to the NASDAQ and we are, we just filed the application. We feel very comfortable. We meet all the criteria, And if we don't, they will tell us in the next couple of weeks or so, and we will do whatever it has to be done to make us a NASDAQ company. Yeah. If, if it proved, do you have any idea on when the shares will graduate? I think it will, this process could take four weeks or so. We hope sooner. Uh, obviously, we have some powerful news to put out very soon, so uh, we think that this is uh, very fitting for us. Let's talk about some of that powerful news. Um, is there any kind of update that you have on your various coronavirus trials you have right now? So we told everybody we will be uh, unblind. I mean, bl uh, uh, unblinding the data. Now uh, we've been very clear. We've been very transparent. We don't hide from people. We tell everybody where we are at all time. And that's why early this week, we talk about everything frankly with everybody it says, we most likely will be unblinding this week. It's happening. Today is the last day of that week. So we are unblinding it. Now, we need a few days to uh, analyze the data and then put it out. Uh, but tomorrow at 6 p.m., I am going to Dr. Bean's show and I will talk about the methodology uh, uh, behind this of what we are all going to be doing. As I said in the past, emergency IND, there was 60 anecdotal data. We are completely blinded to these results. So with that said, my enthusiasm always has been there because what we saw clearly on the patients that was taken, especially in UCLA, where there was 29 patients there. There were two patients that were in ECMO, got off of ECMO, and then doing well. So. Uh, we're very excited that we're able to do what we have done, and we we'll hope to show that in our results. It's, a, it's going to be a really, really big moment for you. Um, and then similar to this, it, what's, what's kind of going on with your partnership in Mexico? So uh, we have uh, our uh, legal team has brought a uh, 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 colleagues of themselves who's in Mexico, and we're having calls today to finalize everything. I'm hoping that this call today will uh, end up giving us a timeline for the trial to start. That's a small trial, 25 patients. So I'm looking forward to that uh, call. Well, definitely lots to look forward to. Uh, we'll keep on you and we'll look forward to those results. Nader, thank you so much. Thank you for having me.